Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk to you about signatures and signing your work. Oh dude, I'm too cool as an abstract painter to sign my work. <laughs> That's the attitude there is. You go to New York City or Los Angeles or Chicago, there's a trend, and I mean a trend, a fad, that says, hey, I'm too cool as an abstract painter to sign my work, dude. People know my work. <laughs> That's bull crap. They don't know who you are. I mean, the top end people, we might know who their work is, but these other also rands, we don't know their work. Look, sign your work. This stands in for you when you're not there. It's free marketing. It tells people, hey, this is my work. I own it. I made it. <laughs> it's mine. Right? Why would you not want to sign your work? It's stupid. Look, if you think you're too cool to sign your work, you don't need to watch this video. This is for the real artists who are out there trying to sell their work, trying to be good artists, trying to let people know what it is that they do. That's who this video is for. If you're too cool, we'll see you later. Right? I'm not too cool to sign my work. Uh, look, your work needs to be, your signature needs to be two things, readable and searchable. What do I mean by searchable? This is how people find you right here. Whether you like it or not, right, people are going to find you through, social, through Google, right? That's how they're going to find you. So you want to be able to, them to see your signature and put in your name and artist after it and the information about you online is going to come up. Your website will come up. Your social media sites will come up. You know, Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram, Etsy, whatever the hell it is that you're out there on, right? All the social media stuff. It wants to, you want it to come up, right? So readable so that you can read it. I mean, don't make some little artsy thing that nobody can read. Nobody cares about that, right? You already made the artwork. Your signature doesn't have to be so artsy. It needs to be readable so people can find you. Right. You want to sell work, right? So people need to be able to find you. And a signature is a perfect way for them to look you up, to see more about you, and see where they can purchase your work other than what they're looking at here. Let me tell you why this is so important. Uh, I do you know, consulting work for for people in various capacities, one of which sometimes people hire me to, to look over their art collection and give them recommendations about, hey, you know, uh, we're a little bit iffy on these paintings. Should we get rid of those and add some stuff to the collection, etc.? So, uh, just so happens, um, you know, a couple years back, I was working for a couple. Uh, you know, he's an eight-figure-a-year earner, right? So, I mean, we're talking about somebody that has lots of money, multiple houses all around the world uh, and art collections in each one. So, you know, I'm in one of their places and we're looking through the collection. I'm saying, you know, well, I found a nice abstract piece. I think, you know, this is a pretty great piece. I said, you know, it would be a good idea to maybe find more pieces by this person and add those to your collection. It was a nice abstract piece. Um, so we looked at the bottom at the signature you know, it's one of those complete, it's chicken scratch, completely unreadable. There's no, there's no way you could determine what that name is on there. So I said, okay, well, well let's look at the back. And, and I preface this by saying <clears throat> the previous wife of this guy, had, had, I bought most of the artwork. He was not that interested in it. She did all the purchasing. She's gone, bad divorce. She has all the records, right? So there's no way to tell where any of these pieces came from or any of that, how much was you know, that was spent on them, etc. Uh, so I said, well, let's take this thing off the wall and we'll look at the back and we'll be able to contact the artist or look him up, right, through the phone. So no information on the back, you know, no gallery tags. Um, the artist, bless his heart, too stupid to sign it on the back. You know, no title, nothing. <clears throat> so see, you know, you got to be a responsible artist, right? Put your name on the front, put your name on the back. We covered that in another video of what to put on the back of a painting. So here, here you got an artist, and I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I have no idea. They have a, collect, a piece in a collection of someone who has an eight-figure income annually. 
with a big art collection. Multiple houses around the country and around the world, I should say. <laughs> How many thousands or tens of thousands of dollars did this artist lose out on because he or she was too stubborn or too ignorant to realize that a readable signature and putting the information on the back of the painting is important. I mean, it blows my mind that artists can't figure this out. It is so basic and so simple. Put your name on there so that it's readable and so that it's searchable. If you put in David Kessler Artist, you know, you're going to come up with my website and some social media stuff and the YouTube videos and all that. And there's another guy, David Kessler Artist, <clears throat> in Arizona, right? So there's kind of two of us. you got to put your name on there so it's readable. Now, you know, don't put it on there in pencil, right? Because the pencil will come off. Even if you varnish over it, don't put it in pencil. Don't do some kind of cursive writing that nobody can read, right? This signature for me is just for my paintings. It's not what I put on legal documents. So don't put your legal document kind of script on there. Nobody cares about that. Make it readable. Use some kind of paint. I mean, I personally use a small brush and paint that I use on the painting. If you don't want to use do that, there's oil painting pens and acrylic pens out there. All right, so you can use those. You can buy them by color. Some of them you can put the paint in there yourself, you know, for the color. Uh, but use paint because you know that uh, that's going to be there as long as the paint on the painting is going to be there. Please don't use a Sharpie. Sharpie says it's permanent. But they don't tell you, what they don't tell you is if that painting sitting in the sunshine for two years in somebody's house, your signature will no longer be on that painting. It's not that permanent, right? It won't be there if the sun's on it all the time. So do not sign anything with a Sharpie on the front of your painting because it's not permanent, right? Paint is permanent. Pencil is not permanent. Paint is permanent. Okay. Sign it. Be proud of it. Take ownership of it. Say, hey, I did this. Your signature stands in for you when you're not there. It's free marketing. If you're not taking advantage of that, you're probably not selling much work, right? Make it readable. Make it searchable. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.